In this example, we are required to calculate the number of grams of an acid or base to make up a particular buffer. So we want to make up 210 milliliter of a buffer. The buffer should have a pH of 12.14. And the total concentration of the buffer should be 393.8 millimolar. We know that the pKa of the acid is 11.75 and we've got the molecular mass for the acid and the base. And the question is how many grams of acid and base do we need to weigh in for this buffer? And this is a very typical problem that we encounter every day in the laboratories. So how are we going to calculate these grams that we need. First of all, we note that the pH of our buffer is larger than the pKa. So we can write the pH is larger than the pKa of the buffer and this means that we need more base. More base is required than acid to get this buffer. And that is a very good starting point. So we can then later on check our result and see whether uh, this makes sense what we've calculated. So in the first step what we do is we calculate the ratio of acid to base. Ratio acid to base. And to do so we use our henderson hasselbalch equation. So pH equals pKa minus log of the acid concentration over the base concentration. And we are always working with log to the base of 10. So what we can do in order to get this ratio of acid base we bring the log to the left hand side, the pH to the right hand side and we get log of acid to base equals pKa minus pH we can put in numbers. So the uh, pKa was 11.75 minus 12.14 and that gives us a value of negative 0.39. Now in order to get rid of the log we take both sides 10 to the power of and we then get 10 to the power of log of the acid to base. Acid to base equals 10 to the power of negative 0 0.39. According to the rules of logarithm and exponents, 10 and log cancels out. And we've got left acid to base ratio equals 10 to the power of 0 0.39. And when we put that into a calculator, we would get 0 0.4074, something like that. Or we can write acid, the acid concentration equals 0 0.4074 times the base concentration. And this makes sense because we need less acid or more base and that is what we set up here. Now we need to figure out how much of the acid and base we want and therefore we first need to calculate 
what is the total concentration of acid and base in this buffer. So we need to calculate the total number of moles in the buffer. Of moles in the buffer. And we can very easily do that. So we know that we've got 393.8 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter. That is the total concentration of the buffer. And we need to prepare 210 milliliters. So that's 210 times 10 to the minus 3 liter. We see the liter cancel out. And when we put that into a calculator, we would get 0 0.08 seven mole. So what we can say is that acid, the, the mole number of moles, mole acid plus the moles base together gives us 0 0.0827 mole. And we also know that the ratio of acid to base is 0 0.407. So we can write here 0 0.4074 times base. That's our acid plus the base equals 0 0.0827 mole. We can factor base out, so we would get base times 0 0.4074 plus 1 equals 0 0.0827 mole. Or what we can do is we can solve this for base. So base equals 0 0.0827 mole divided by 0 0.407 plus 1. So that gives us 1.4074. And if we put that into a calculator, we would get 0 0.05876 mole. So that's the number of moles for the base. Now we can use the molecular mass of the base and calculate how many grams would this be. So in order to find the grams, we would use Uh, the base is this one here, 756.9 grams. 756.9 gram per mole times 0 0.05876 mole. Now the mole cancels out, that's what we want. And we just simply put that again into a calculator. And that would give us roughly 44.48 gram of the base. So that would be the base. Now we can also calculate for the acid. So make some space here. So we know that the acid, so we said here the acid, we can figure out what the acid is. So mole acid equals 0 0.0827 mole minus the mole for the base that we just calculated. And that was 0 0.0827 mole 
minus and we've calculated that, that here 0 0.05 eight seven six mole which gives us for the acid zero point zero two three nine four mole so that's for the acid that's the mole of acid that we need and we can calculate the grams of acid I write it like that and for this, we use the molecular mass of the acid, which we've got here, 716.7, 716.7 gram per mole times 0 0.02394 mole. Now we see again the mole cancels out. And we just simply put that in a calculator and we find that this is approximately 17.16 gram of the acid. And again, a quick reality check. Here we've got our mole for the base. Here we've got our mole for the acid. And we see that we need uh, two and a half times more of the base than we need for the acid. And that is quite nicely in line with our prediction that we made up here, where we said we need more base for the calculation. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.